Well, salute to Mondo there, chums. Does I, Captain of the Steves, and it's been a busy old morning for me. Yes, we went from having hardly any content to deliver anything on to having freaking oodles in a day. Yes, and it all happened overnight, UK time. Anyway, let's jump on over to the old Tinterwebs and I'll show you what I've got. So what have I got for you? I've got patch notes, people. Holiday 2023 Expediciones. Just dropped December 8th. It's December 8th right now, people. Anyway, here we go. Let's have a little read. So here we are. Hello, everyone. Another busy year for No Man's Sky is drawing to a close. And this holiday season, we're pleased to revisit our tradition of running remixed editions of this year's expeditions. It's the Reduxes, but sometimes they make some of the bits a little bit easier, trim them down a bit. But yeah, same rewards. Across the following dates of 2023's community expeditions will be available once more, taking place in new sections of the universe, offering explorers another opportunity to experience these stories and events and earn exclusive rewards. In addition to the 2023 expeditions, we're also bringing back a limited run of the community favourite cartographers from 2021. The bundle of rewards includes some of the most popular items from across a number of past expeditions, including the coveted Golden Vector Starship, an exciting opportunity for players who missed out on the chance to earn these rewards during the original expedition runs. Lovely jobs! So, yeah, they did say that expeditions will be seasonal. They also said expeditions will drop with an update. Yeah. But anyways, we got these ones dropping without really a content update. There is a little bit of content further down that I get to, but it's more patches and quality of life. So anyway, Utopia starts 8th of December. Checks calendar. That's now! Yeah, so you should be able to hit on up Utopia at some point today, people. Work together with each travellers to rebuild an abandoned solar system for the mysterious Utopia Foundation. Utopia welcomes all contributors to the ambitious new communal habitation project that ends on the 15th of December. And on the same day, Singularity starts. One of my favourite expeditions of all time, it has to be said. Frickin' lovely. Yes, and that takes up to the 22nd. Begin to unravel the history and origins of the harmonic camps in this precursor to Echoes. A mystery that touches upon the artificial intelligence, the the will to exist, and the very nature of what it means to be alive. Oh, there we go. Anyway, I could read the rest, but, you know, I might as well not. But we've got cartographers. Cartographers, 22nd to the 29th. Lovely jubbly. And we've got voyagers, 29th to the 8th. Cartographers is what delivers in the Golden Vector Ship, which is a freaking lovely reward, people. Rewards for the 2023 expeditions... Includes the Robo Warden, the Hover Droid Companions, and the Fearsome Visor, and the Wayfarer's Helm, and Crimson Freighter trailers, and much more. There's a right little bevy of goodies there. Right little bevy, heck yes. Hopefully they stop this Gek hologram from making Viking noises all the time that sounds like they're retching, because I don't use it right now, because of that. Ah, fix it, other games! Yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> uh. I don't want to come across as demanding, but that's a bug that's a pain in the neck. Cartographers present some of the most exciting and popular awards from previous expeditions. The Jetpack Bubble Trail, Feast Cask, the uh, Exotic Wing Pack, Streamlined Jetpack, and the legendary Golden Book to Starship. Yes, I sold to mine, people, because I didn't have enough ship slots. And in the very next update, what did they give us? Ship slots! Dang it! Dang it! Yeah, anyway. Left-handed VR mode. I thought we already had that. I'm fun. Okay, well, that's what we've got. We've got left-handed VR mode. That's the quality of life bit. Yes, along with the wrist menus as well. Lovely jubbly for those VR players. Lovely jobs. So, there we go. This year, 2023, saw another action-packed year of continuing to expand the engine and content of No Man's Sky, launching on two new platforms and releasing three major updates, as well as releasing a regular stream of patches, improvements and community events. Our first update this year was Fractal, which brought in a host of VR improvements alongside native support for PSVR 2, as well as general spread of quality of life and accessibility improvements, and the new Wonders catalogue of your most remarkable discoveries. Makes me wonder if some of this Wonders catalogue stuff was inspired by their new game IP, where it's one giant planet that you're all investigating and together. That, that well, makes sense, wouldn't it? Maybe they up and lifted it from there. Interceptor as well. This one says that it was like the first part of that narrative. And then 
you've got Interceptor here, which was also part of that narrative, I believe. And then we also had the Echoes, which was the third part. And they made that fully clear inside these patch notes now, people. I think this was for the likes of people like me that were like, well, they've only given us two parts to the arc. Nope. They've given three. If you read all this, it's quite clear that that Echoes was part three. Captain Steve, yeah, I've got it now. I've got it. It's hard grained into me. So the only part we're waiting for is part four. My phone hasn't stopped freaking vibrating. Sorry if you can hear that, people. It's people hitting me up and saying, Captain Steve, have you seen Hello Games? They've done their new IP. Captain Steve, have you seen their new trailer? I've done videos on both of them. They're on my channel. Please look at my channel before buzzing me but thank you very much it was it is welcomed you know if i hadn't already seen it and done videos on it of course it's always welcomed but there you go there's the echoes update which also goes into the whole narrative anyway scanning down a little bit further we want to celebrate our seven years post launch now if you haven't seen this before i'm going to hit play but i've already got muted it cool and i'm going to skip over to the end part of this where they say 2024 because here is where you start to see something a little bit freaking amazing people so here we are let's make that full screen new ship heck yes new station interiors new station core new station exteriors and it looks like a little bit of an overhaul to those sort of like floating life rafts of the echoes freaking awesome stuffage awesome stuffage indeed you can see a massive medley of freaking titles here we haven't been given a name for this new update we haven't been given a date or time for this new update we haven't got an emoji for this new update we have no idea what this update is other than it's going to massively affect stations what else is it going to have in it? Well, we know it's got new ships, Steve. Yeah! Heck yes, we do. So we've got a bit of extra visual quality on Nintendo Switch. There's a whole load of bug patches right at the bottom for Switch, VR and Mac. Lovely jubbly. Community research. That is now unlocked. We've got all three of these that you can now get at the Quicksilver store. I still need to go get my third item. I haven't unlocked it yet. Probably do it when I do the weekend mission run later this evening. The feature bases, as we know, have all been rotated out. I've already gone and visited all these, already showcased them. I've got a video. You can go hit it up over there and you can watch these tours live. Okay, well, not live, I'm pre-recorded them. Then there's community aspects, a 3D printed helmet, which looks freaking lovely. Heck yes. This looks like they've painted the back of a 3DS, which is freaking lovely. Awesome paint work there. Very nice. This is freaking great. If that's what the Void Mother looks like, that'd be pretty darn freaking sweet. But, you yeah, who knows? We've got a little Viking with his little pet companion there. Very cute, very sweet, very talented people in our community. If you're there, round of applause to do. You're freaking awesome. Heck yes, you are. Lots of photos there by a lot of people that I reckon they the names of over on the old Twitter space. Well done for getting your pictures showcased and onto here. Heck yes. Round of applause again. Okay, so here we go. Development update. The team are already hard at work creating new content and features for No Man's Sky in 2024. A lot of that station stuff we knew they had already done some time ago. They were accidentally slipped into the game files quite some time ago. Honestly think that we would have got this update around October. For whatever reason, they decided to hold on to it and put it out in the new year. The reason I say that is quite a lot of content creators were hit on up by a third party asking if they wanted to do a sponsored video. That then got retracted and redacted and disappeared -cated. It did seem that everything was on par for an October release. Then boom, gone, boom, into 2024. We're dreaming up some exciting new things that we can't wait to share. Well, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why they pulled it back and redacted it. It's because they probably thought, hold on, let's deliver something big. Let's deliver something beefy. And also, if they've already just announced their new IP, it then gives them a bit of an excuse. We've been working on this. So, yeah. No, there we go. Anyway. Update 4.46 is available across all platforms today, which includes the 2023 Expeditions Remix series, left-handed VR mode, and a number of stability and game fixes. Our journey continues. Lovely jubbly. And here's all the patch notes and fixes, and you can read through all those. There's a heck of a lot of them just in time for this festive period, just in time for new players picking up No Man's Sky on all platforms. Hopefully you're going to have the nice, seamless, decent sort of, you know, uh, experience that you should have. Sorry, my phone just kept vibrating again then. Hopefully it's not something important, family stuff or something. Anyway, people, that's pretty much everything I've got for you inside of the view of us today. <laughs> I've been so bloody busy. <laughs> From having hardly anything to cover to having freaking reams of stuff. Anyway, I'm going to go drink my tea.
I think I've earned that. Wet me old whistle. That's my Captain Steve's brew. Oh, I think I shoot that a little bit too long. It's actually got little particles floating on the top, but you know what? The stronger the better today, people. I freaking need it. Oh, that's, that's, that's freaking lovely. You can get my tea. Check out my actual um, links on my about page of my channel, mate. Heck yes, it'd be a nice Christmas present to yourself. Until next time, salute them on though. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.